Wow, it's been way too long. I have not disappeared. I miss y'all, friends. Hello, it is your weird creative makeup artist pal, Cat Sketch, to bring you guys a chit chat, get ready with me video, a little life update. I know, where have I been? Why is there so many little life updates? But life has been crazy. It honestly feels like, you know when you keep going to uh, McDonald's to try to get a certain McFlurry that's limited time edition, but it's not that they don't have the toppings to make your McFlurry, but every single one you go to does not have any ice cream. They're all out of ice cream or the ice cream machine is broken. That's what life has been feeling like to me. I've been to like every single McDonald's in every town that's in a 25 mile radius of me and none of them have an ice cream machine that's working. And that's what life feels like. You guys knew about our AC breaking down, my dog getting sick two months apart, like raging sick in the ER, lots of money. My boyfriend recently had surgery if you follow me on Instagram. He had a surgery that he really needed for him to continue his career, and he's doing good. We're gonna do our eyes first, so I just put some Milk Hydro Primer. If you haven't seen my TikTok, Milk gave me a gigantic gift package full of their products, so I've been like trying everything from Milk. I mean, wouldn't you? Just like everything is just like, what? They have products I never even heard of. Like, I didn't know they had an eye primer. Did you? I'm feeling a little bit of an undersea fantasy. I want some purples and greens. I have some fake press on nails by Olive and June today and they're giving me life. They're baby pink and lavender ombre. They probably look fake and weird, but I like them. They make me feel bougie. These are as long as my nails I could handle and they're considered short length before I go insane. I can't handle the long fake nails that much. I wish I could. But like I said, my boyfriend's healing up. He looks like he just literally got stabbed in a prison from surgery. He hasn't been to prison anyways. He's doing well. He had to have surgery on his stomach, but he's doing well. It's just been a lot. W one thing after another, it feels like, but we're doing good. And I wanted to talk today about things I realized about Texas that is so different from California and any other state I've lived in or been to because Honestly, Texas is a little weird. The politics are weird. The people are different, not in a bad way all the time, but it's weird. Like I said, we're doing the eyes first. The accents. Okay, I already had a Southern twang to my accent, I've been told, when I would work on set in California, but California girls totally talk like this. It's a little bit of snazelness. It's a lot from talking from like your privileged inner soul through your nose. It's definitely giving a Kardashian vibe and you really want to have an acai bowl and go to Nobu and have some In-N-Out animal style fries. And then Texas accents are like, we're going to Whataburger and I like a Dr. Pepper and a sweet tea. Go to Bucky's and get me a gallon of lemonade. This eye primer is not working, great. I'm gonna switch to my P. Louise because she's bold, she's beautiful, I'm used to her and she works. So much better. I don't think the Milk Makeup Eye Primer passes my test, unfortunately. But I'm lucky that I have family from Texas growing up and I feel like I could blend in a little bit with the locals just by the way I talk. Maybe not the way I look or dress, but the accents is one thing. Another thing that happens here that does not happen in California is the tornadoes and the hurricanes. Especially where I live, we have hurricane season. You got to prepare. There will be times here where like you won't be able to get water and ice in stores and you have to catch it up and stock up real quick and that is something that does not happen in California. In California, the only thing that we might have is like a shortage on well, toilet paper like everybody else and avocados. That might affect us. We love our avocados. We smother avocados on everything. I say we, but I do not live there anymore. Cicadas. If y'all don't know what cicadas is, when it's warm, which is like eight months out of the year here in Texas, we have these things in the trees that literally sound like there's rattlesnakes in the trees, but they are bugs. Bugs that like vibrate or something and they sound, they sound like this. Horrendous, right? It sounds like the apocalypse if you don't know what they are. And don't worry, all the beautiful, you know, BD Creations eyeshadow palettes and everything I use in this video will be listed down below in my Amazon affiliate link down in the description box. 
Another th crazy thing about Texas that no one just like bats an eyelash at is you can go to like a regular gas station and order tacos, not just in the gas station itself, but directly to your car. Like curbside service tacos to your car. What, why don't we have this in California? We love tacos in California. It's amazing. I'm just putting some shimmer right here. Just need a little purple shimmer action. Another thing that blew me out of the water when moving to Texas is the DMV. Because you just don't go to the DMV to get your driver's license. You have to go to a tax assessor's office and have multiple things done. That's totally different than when you live in California or other states. I feel like this is about to get super adult, but hear me out, I'm applying my makeup primer. See what the girls and gals and hymns, theys, thems are all talking about with this milk makeup primer that actually smells horrid. It's sticky though. I'll give them that. It feels like super good glow and smells like it too. When you get your license in California, you just go to the DMV and it takes forever and it's shorter amount of time in Texas than in California for the DMV process. But hear me out. Unlike California, you go to the DMV one and done. That's the only thing you gotta do for your car, right? And you do it like every, I don't know, a few years when you have to take your driver's license test and stuff. But here in Texas, every year I have to take I have to get my car inspected for like safety and like a safety test. We have smog tests in California, that's a whole nother deal, but this one's like different. If you don't pass that, you can't get, you have to go to tax assessors. It's so much stuff, so much painful stuff, adult stuff that I don't like. I'm using these milk skin tint things that I don't know how they work or what they really do, but I'm just using them. And they have sunscreen in it, but they're just really cool looking. And I don't know how they got my shade, but they did. I'm gonna mix a little bit of my favorite. This is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac onto the Skin Tint by Milk. I'm just doing a whole concoction of like skin repair makeup on my face. But oh my gosh, the difference of Mexican food. Well, it's Tex-Mex here in Texas, meaning queso on everything. A lot of it's also like a hybrid of their barbecue on top of tacos and burritos, but it's a lot of queso. I was surprised about how much queso is on everything because in California, we have a lot of different salsas. We depend on the flavor of like marinating the meats, but we also do dumb stuff too. Like, well not dumb stuff, very Americanized stuff like the California burritos of putting french fries in your burritos, which is so like, what? I'm gonna get some of my setting powder and press it into the skin. Only where I need it right now, which is under the eye because I have a lot of like creasing there and old age spots. Next, I'm gonna grab my Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer. Just applying this on my skin and then gonna apply it to my face just to warm it up on the back of my hand first. But oh my goodness, have y'all heard of armadillo eggs? No, not the actual baby eggs that come out of the animal, the armadillo, but it's a food out here in Texas. Armadillo eggs, I think it's a jalapeno popper with meat wrapped around it, maybe some bacon. It's a lot. It looks and sounds delicious. I still haven't eaten it yet, but that's a thing out here. Armadillos are also a big thing out here. They've nested in my backyard of my home out here they literally i thought i was seeing baby rabbits hopping along the street no it's a baby armadillo and if you get certain banned armadillos and you get them at the wrong time of day they could carry leprosy doesn't it sound like we're talking about the 1800s no modern day leprosy on these armadillos and they look like roly polies mixed with a possum mixed with a rodent like armadillos just sound like they came out of Jurassic Park in a fairy tale book mixture. Like they just came out of some sort of Hunger Games type thing. But no, they exist. It just blows my mind every single time I hear about R and C armadillos. Like don't they look like a drawn mascot that a 12 year old made? Like they don't look real. Anyways, boosies, I'm kidding, buckies is how we say it here in Texas. It is also an animal, but he's a beaver, and he's the mascot of a wonderful, magical gas station. And it's just not any gas station, and it's just not any convenience store. It's a convenience store slash gas station. Some of them are as big as Walmart out here, and they have the most magical snacks, like 
beaver nuggets that are tasty. They have beef jerky delis, like a whole deli laid out of beef jerky, a whole like, we'll chop up some barbecue into a sandwich in front of you, like a fudge bar. A fudge bar? Not like the candy bar, like where you pick at a bar like a drink, but instead of drinks, they're layers of fudge candy. I mean, Bucky's is magical. You could also buy like what you get from Walmart, like swimsuits with beavers on it, shirts with beavers on it, dog collars with beavers. They love this beaver. Oh, I love their divinity and the beaver nuggets. Yes, yes, my faves. Okay, which blush? This one, she's a little bit more like a neutral apricot or this berry bliss. I think I'm gonna go towards this. Hopefully it won't be too, we can layer them. Why don't we layer them? I just don't want like overly done. But honestly, like moving to Texas as someone that's never left their home state, it feel I feel like Eleven from Stranger Things. I know that's like very extreme because she's literally was held up in a CIA agent. But you didn't know my childhood? No. But like seriously, like I just feel like her because Texas is so wild. It honestly feels a little cultish sometimes only because uh, politics get really extreme. It takes 22 hours to drive through the middle of Texas. It's so big, so there's no like nearby s states to escape to. The electric grid is weird. Um, the hurricanes and tornadoes, you feel a little stuck sometimes. But I do love some of the freedoms you get here. Although I'm a female, so I don't know about that. Let's not get too much into politics. But the pricing and jobs are great. The price on everything but it's because you're literally in a place that your house could get swept up at any minute during certain times of the year. Like, you know how Levin's just sitting there like trying these overly fatty, like frozen convenient foods? That's me at H-E-B. H-E-B here is wonderful, by the way. H-E-B is like a theme park for adults, but it's a grocery store and you can get sushi half off on Wednesdays. They've got like brisket queso they just put on your grill or in your oven and have delicious food. H-E-B's amazing. They have like specials like during the summer sometimes they'll have potato chips that taste like a corn dog or funnel cake. I'm not kidding. They have fresh made butter tortillas that are like home, like not homemade but like homemade in the store where you just see, have a waft of butter and tortilla. And they even have a candle that smells like that buttery tortilla. It's amazing. I love H-E-B. It's probably one of my top favorite things about Texas. I don't see how people like live in Texas because there's some states here, well some cities here that don't have H-E-B, like I couldn't live in those parts of Texas if they didn't have an H-E-B. Oh my god, now I know why everybody loves this freaking primer. Milk, you did it. Some people hate this, but I'm wondering if they're not using the right foundation because I used water-based foundations and I have very, very dry skin, so it works. This Hydro Primer, I want to look a little sunburnt, you know? I think I achieved that. Now I'm just picturing Eleven going into the other side and it's being Texas with the humidity at an Astros game in the middle of summer and she's just scarfing down the frozen waffles. We're going to put a little blue teal moment on the bottom lash line. If I could find the right brush to apply it without it having too much of a fallout business. This is giving under the sea. I'm just tying the teal and the purple together with more purple right here. Getting this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Shore thing, like Shore like the ocean, I mean it's perfect for that bottom teal look. And I don't know about y'all, but in California, we do not have California shaped things. Texas, they're very prideful, Texas shaped everything, I understand they want to be a part of the US. It's a whole different world here in Texas than other states. Like literally, you will be by a mall or in a drive-thru and see someone riding a horse instead of a car, like through the drive-thru, or by the mall and see long horse steers right by the mall parking lot. Another thing out here, driving. Like Texas driving is not like California driving. You could go, and there's signs that say this, 85 mile per hour on certain highways and freeways out here. I'm not kidding. Texans drive pedal to the metal at the same time you do not want to exceed too much and really go by that law because Texas state troopers you don't want to mess with them also the gun things different like anyone and everyone could have a gun out here honestly if you have not tried the covergirl easy breezy brow 
you could even use this probably on your eyelashes it's the goat yes so basically in texas with the gun thing as well you could get guns and alcohol at the same store here sometimes it's wild you know those like cartoons we grew up watching on looney tunes in the west with the coyotes and stuff and they have like jokes with them acting like cowboys and there's a gun and liquor store in one yeah that's that that happens out here also there's kolaches which i have to end on because those are delicious and it's like a croissant or a puff pastry around like a sausage or like a sweet pie filling that's really good and we have dangerous water parks like Sh slitterbong Schlitterbahn. Basically the history of Texas, a lot of German immigrants came here and that's how Texas barbecue was founded on, was the smoking of meats that was founded, I'm pretty sure by Germans on how they would prepare their meats. A lot of Texas barbecue is based off of that. I'm gonna put on some lips and lashes and we will be back. And just like that, we are back with lashes and lips. I love this look, it's so pretty. It's screaming Ariel, Little Mermaid. I love purple eyeshadows, y'all know me. Honestly, this Milk Makeup Primer, I understand why people love it. It's gorgeous on the skin, oh my goodness. If you have dry, cracky skin like me, woo! Leave a comment down below if you've ever moved out of your hometown, and if so, what it was like for you. And if you haven't, would you wanna move out of your hometown? Talking about the differences between Texas and California, a little life update. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today as much as I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. We will do videos every Friday and all the products that I use in this video will be listed down below in my Amazon affiliate links. Thank y'all so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.